Today we learned that Georgia's overall COVID-19 testing includes two different kinds of tests. One does show new cases, but the other is an antibody test. It shows past cases. And when you combine those two tests, it can inflate the overall testing numbers and it can water down the percentage of new tests. I asked Dr. Toomey about it. We are actually working on that right now and I'll have an update for you uh, probably by tomorrow as to how um, we're gonna to continue to display those data, whether still as part of the aggregate total or separated out so you can see which uh, tests are being done as to identify acute infection or just uh, current infection versus past infection. So that's kind of late breaking news that I'm still learning about myself. So this is significant for a couple of reasons. The CDC's goal is for states to test 2% of the population. On Monday, the governor's office said that Georgia surpassed that benchmark by testing 3.3% of the population. The state said it added more than 50,000 tests over the weekend. And of all of those tests, there was a drop in the percentage of people testing positive. That's exactly what you want to see happen. But that may be misleading if the two different test results are combined. Antibody tests do not tell us how many people actually have the virus, and they've been widely criticized for being unreliable. Plus, there's no obligation for private labs like Quest or LabCorp to report those results, although we've been told that Quest does provide them to the CDC. We want to mention that in the past, we have asked DPH if the antibody tests are included, and they told us they were not. Now DPH is confirming that antibody tests are including, which can cause those numbers in Georgia to be misleading. There is no doubt, though, that there are more tests happening in Georgia. A steady stream of cars today at two new coronavirus testing locations in DeKalb County, one each in Decatur and Tucker. They're the first of six planned community testing sites targeting the hardest hit zip codes. Teams are going to administer free tests Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Anybody may be tested regardless of symptoms. And while you don't need a doctor's referral, you do have to have an appointment.